Uh, Hydro Tasmania is the uh, largest renewable energy generator in Australia. Uh, we've been involved in IHA since uh, about 2002 and um, we're a hydropower generator producing about two-thirds of Australia's hydropower and uh, sustainable hydropower is very important to us so we've been keen to support the IHA programs and uh, be involved with that. I was asked to develop some sustainability guidelines for IHA and uh, Hydro Tasmania with the assistance of Hydro Quebec did that back in 2003 and published them, we published them in 2004 and then we came up with the idea of uh, developing an assessment method to see the measure performance against the protocol. In about 2002 uh, we were asked to develop sustainability guidelines for the IHA and we did that in conjunction with Hydro Quebec and they were published in 2004. Uh, then we decided we'd try and develop a, an assessment methodology to measure performance against the guidelines. And uh, that went through about six versions, uh, Sustainability Protocol, and it was published, uh, finally published in 2006. It was largely an industry-driven uh, product. 2007, I think it was, the IHA board decided that uh, the Sustainability Protocol uh, needed to be opened up to a, a wider audience, to civil society and banks and others. Uh, so the forum was created. Uh, I was one of the two industry reps on the forum. Uh, and the process went through two and a half years, very interesting long process, but we've now got the final product, which is uh, the present sustainability assessment protocol. And I think it's a, it's a good product. It's going to be good for the industry, and uh, uh, I'm very excited about the prospects for it. It's very important for the industry to make sure that you know, projects are done well, that uh, they're dealing with the basic major issues around the social issues, the economic issues, the technical issues and the environmental issues and that a, a balance is achieved and that they're communicating well with all the stakeholders. Um, and I think you know, hydropower is going to be very important in, in future development addressing climate change and, and dealing with a whole lot of things like poverty alleviation and, and uh, water supply, those sort of things. But it's, it's, it's vital I think that we bring civil society along with us, that we ensure that the projects we do are good projects, they're done well and I think this protocol will help in that.